Right, I have been waiting for this driver for quite some time. It's not possibly the driver, it's the shaft driver head combination that I've been waiting for. Shaft is in place. If this is as good as when I got custom fit for it back in December, then this is a serious contender to go in my bag. In fact, I'll let you into a little secret. I've been playing this for the last week or so, and it's highly likely that this will end up in my bag. Now the one thing you will notice in this video, there's no dry ball data and this is very much about on course testing. And if I'm honest with you, what I'm not concerned about right now is just how far this driver is going because I'm confident it's doing exactly the same as every other driver head. My main focus in this video is about control, how many fairways they hit and that's golf in reality. It also has to be the best looking driver shaft combination that I've ever looked down upon particularly if you're a Liverpool fan. Right, the first and most interesting thing about this video is the shaft head combination. The shaft being majorly important. It's the Proforce V2. It's a 52 gram shaft in stiff. But one other additional piece of information is that it's half inch shorter than standard, let's say, but that shaft length being 44 and a half degrees. I can't believe the change in performance of this driver head with this shaft in both in control and in distance. It's been phenomenal. Right, well that's the first thing I like about this driver head combination. That ball is straight. What this setup gives me is a real uh, high level of confidence at address. That shorter shaft and this head combination is as confident as I have felt when stood over a driver for quite some time. So the head on the end of that shaft is in fact the Stealth. It's not the Stealth Plus, it's a standard product. It's 10 and a half degrees. And this is the shaft that I was fit for back in December of last year. And it's very, very different from what I've tried since. So what makes this head shaft combination so good for me? Now everybody wants to play driver as many times as they can. We all like sort of bombing it as long as possible. But I've got to say that the 13th hole here at Carden Park, I'd probably be teeing up a three wood, perhaps even a hybrid because of lack of confidence and control in driver would be something I'd be fearful of. However, having played, like I said, quite a number of rounds now with this combination intact and all of a sudden I find myself reaching for the driver as being the club that I've got the most confidence in. That's a real weird scenario. Anyway, let's see if we can back it up by finding one. There's not much of a room between these two trees. Well, it's making its way through the gap. It's, if I'm honest with you, it wasn't the best shot of it all morning, but it's bounding on. And it's incredible just to how far this thing seems to be firing off the face right now. But the main bit, again, is just about dispersion. It's leaked maybe a tad out to the right hand side, but we're still keeping this ball very much into fairways. And that's this head shaft combination that is producing these results. It's incredible. By 14th old here at Carden Park, and this is a prime example of where, like having confidence in this, uh, well, in any club, I suppose, but in terms of driver, one that I would be severely lacking in normally. I'm going to try and hit the ball from left to right. And again, I just don't know where this confidence is coming from. But like I said, I just feel that at the moment I can attempt those shots, not necessarily always uh, execute them. But like I said, I've just uh, this confidence in this setup to do exactly that. So we're going to aim at the left hand bunkers and see if we can move the ball the opposite way. And I think really what I'm trying to sort of, I proves the wrong word, is that golf is massive about between the ears, it's all about what's in the head and confidence is a huge part of that. And like I said, just two weeks of having this set up and all of a sudden, my mentality towards my driver is just, uh, well, I wouldn't have been attempting this shot just a couple of weeks back with another driver in hand. That's just, Absolutely. I mean, I couldn't play the shot any better. We'd just come down on the sort of, uh, that's the 150 marker in. 
just that little bit of cut off them left off that left hand side and i'm laughing because like i said this isn't the type of video i would normally do like watch me play shots from left to right that's not my thing but i'm just trying to show like i said this confidence element is massive and uh, i put this down to two things the driver head performs incredibly well we all know that but the driver's shaft and particularly the shorter shaft is the bit that's given me the control and when i go back to the videos that i've done over the last couple of years the real sort of success that i've had personally has been based on either the mini driver or i had a shorter length shaft in the b21 drive from callaway and they were again all down to control and me finding the center of the club face more often and therefore just getting a much more uh, balanced performance out of that driver club head so the key factor to me is control and for most average golfers it's that shorter length shaft that is key and it certainly is for me anyway well i'm in position a couldn't have places any better on the fairway we'll have a go and see if we can get up in two on this par five shortly but i've done a lot of videos in recent weeks that are focused on i think unintentionally on uh, again showing that custom fit is hugely important and my question for you this week in the comments is how many of you believe that custom fit is a thing or is there still people out there that uh, just don't buy into it whatsoever because like i said if there was ever any doubt from my own personal perspective which there never has been to be fair the videos that we've done in recent weeks have just really proven just how important it is and for me i've never seen a difference so much of a difference just said to hannah off camera i've never seen such a difference where a shaft and head combination has changed so significantly from when i originally tried the stealth videos that we filmed in january with the with effectively the shaft that wasn't fitted for me huge huge difference anyway can we get up in two absolutely love this hole like i said first of all all about being in position off the tee and then playing quite a bit longer up the hill in terms of this club selection I've just forced it a little and pulled it left. Kick down the bank. No, it stayed up there. I think we'd have got there, but uh, we're going to need an up and a down for a birdie. Oh, you were kidding me. So obviously, um, Stealth has been out quite a while in terms of being able to try it. I want to know uh, who has tried it. What are your thoughts and what is a general sense of opinion right now obviously a lot of marketing hype around this club i've been very favorable towards callaway rogue so far and like i said until this sort of setup came along uh, this has been a real thing that's sort of changed my opinion reversed it possibly as well uh, in terms of more favorable towards this driver head but i like i said just really interested in what you're thinking right now um carbon wood era is it a thing or not from what i understand sales on the club are massive so for all the sort of negativity towards this kind of ever evolving tech story that comes from likes of TaylorMade, we still seem to as punters be buying into it and buying the clubs because like i said sales are really really positive so far so give me your feedback down below what are you finding right the uh i think final shot of the day really the ultimate test here at carden park in terms of driving is uh hole 16. If you have a look down there you'll see why it's uh, it's fairly narrow to say the least we've got camera off from left to right and uh, we'll put this to the test can all the talk i've been uh, waffling on about as to how good this is how good my control of the club is or club head rather can we get a ball i'm going to go again towards the sort of tall pine with a little bit of cut so similar to what we tried to execute off uh, 14. You can feel it getting a little bit more tense on this one because you know that any slip up and uh, it's not too good. Oh my word. Come on. I mean, I can't even believe there's not a round of applause from Hannah in the backdrop there. I can't believe just uh, how many driver shots we've managed to not only sort of call but execute at the same time. Unreal. And why for me, like I said, all along throughout this video the main emphasis has been it's not so much the driver head performance i don't know what's happening in there it's doing really really well but it's that driver shaft combination that has meant that i have found more fairways than i have ever done in this last few weeks right as ever thank you for watching i've asked you a few questions within this video 
please get involved in the comments section below. Have I gone mad or are things just, uh, have, like I said in other videos, all the stars aligned this morning, the last couple of weeks, am I just swinging the club well? What is going on and why is this driver head performing so well in my hands right now? Thank you for watching. I'll see you soon. We're going to finish off this last couple of holes here at Carden Park.